So what is he gonna do? Basically trying to eliminate you. <laughs> oh, just that. Today we're gonna have collegiate golf champion, Rachel Heck. We're gonna build up to her completing the ultimate task to be a Raven, which is fighting a red man. And we're gonna get to that pretty soon. Three, two, go! Yeah, the biggest teams of the Air Force that really attract me to them are just the teamwork, the camaraderie. Um, you know, everyone wants to support each other, everyone wants to help each other. Just being here today, it's really inspiring. You know, the energy, the morale is awesome. I'm Cadet Rachel Heck, and this is I Could Do That, presented by the United States Air Force. Hey, What's going on? Arrington. Rachel, nice to meet you. Nichols. Okay. Rachel. Rachel, I heard you in ROTC. Yep. That's what's up. Well, guess what? Today we're going to take you through some physical training, and then we're going to end up in our security forces building so you can take on the Red Man. The Please Red Man? Up. Yeah, the Red Man. Don't worry about that right now. <laughs> okay. It's the Red Man, but we're going to see if you can actually keep up with our airmen. You think you can do that? I can do that. Awesome. Let's get started. My name is Senior Airman Arrington. I am with the 60th Security Forces Squadron out of Travis Air Force Base in Fairfield, California. So security forces is pretty much, we do law enforcement, so you'll see us protecting the planes around the flight line, you'll see us protecting the streets, uh, doing patrolling. My name is Dearman Nichols, I am part of the 60th Security Forces Squadron here at Travis Air Force Base, California. So today we have Rachel Hickam Base, and we're going to see if she has what it takes to be a security forces defender. So guys, the first exercise we're going to do is the battle rope slams. That's going to be a total body exercise to get your whole body engaged. I'm going to demonstrate how to do it. So you guys are gonna pick up this battle rope here. I want you guys to get in a seated position, keep your back nice and flat, chest out. What you're gonna do is slam, slam, slam. We're gonna do this for 20 seconds. You think you can do it? I can do that. Let's do it. Ready, go. Got this, Rachel, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Rachel. Well, we're starting off today with physical fitness because of course it's a part of the Air Force. Uh, but more importantly, what I'm looking for from Rachel today is her ability to integrate with us and be a part of the team. Great job. <laughs> Now we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Rachel is a collegiate golfer, which means that she's playing an individual sport and it has team results. And that's exactly what the Air Force is. All the way down in 10 seconds, okay? I can do that. Awesome, let's roll. Go! So once you join, you'll be placed in your squadron uh, based off of whatever job you chose. So you go into work, you make sure you do your job, and then you go back out into your team and make sure that they're doing what they need to do as well. It's definitely tough to juggle Division I golf and Air Force ROTC in classes and social life. It keeps me very busy. There's a lot of late nights, a lot of early mornings, but I think it helps that I do what I love. Nine, 10, halfway there, come on. Come on, we still got 10 seconds, let's go. During PT, she was next to me. She was actually keeping me up very well. She was actually like right next to me the whole time. Let's go, let's 15, go, let's go. 16, 17. Even when she was tired, she still kept it going. She pushed me during the sit-ups, squats. I was looking over my shoulder, I was like, hey, she's kind of going a little faster than me. <laughs> Three. Two, one, yeah! <laughs> Light work. Oh God. We put you to the test today to see if you actually could uh, withstand the physicality of what we do uh, while we're training for everything we need to prepare for in the outside world. Now we're gonna head over to the Raven section to see if you can keep up there too. You ready to go take on the Raven? And I'm the ready. Red Man? Let's do it. Let's do it. What's going on, guys? Aaron, yeah, Rachel. All right, nice to meet you guys. Ooh, cool. Sweet. So, obviously, you're in the hop. You're in the house of pain here at Travis Air Force Base. And I'm going to run you through what Raven exactly is. We're basically a small security team to protect aircrew, cargo, aircrafts. And today, I'm going to be teaching you combat strikes with the baton. The baton is something that we carry out there whenever we're overseas or wherever we're going that we need that in order to protect ourselves. But today, we're going to be enduring the Red Man fight. Prior to even getting into the fight, we're running through a few weapon side strikes, straight strikes. I know it sounds like gibberish right now, but it will totally make sense to you after we have that class together. Do you think you can do that? I can do that. So I'm gonna start off with opening the baton. I'm gonna interview stance. Check out my stance right here. And I have my baton concealed. Can you see my baton? Perfect, awesome. Now I'm gonna go with something called open mode strike. Get back! So Raven is going to be a separate entity from security forces. Ready, strike, get back! Uh, they actually focus on the elite defensive techniques when it comes to being a defender. Awesome, now you can try a couple strikes as well for yourself. Oh God, what do I say? You could say get back, whatever. Do I have to say anything? I'm gonna step, strike, chamber my baton, 
Get back. Get back. All right. All right. I'll do it. Too easy? Go. Yeah, let's do it. Ready? Strike. Get back. I yelled too soon. So with Rachel today, we're going to build up to her completing the ultimate task to be a raven, which is fighting a red man. Get back. That was perfect. And we're going to get to that pretty soon here, so she'll have some fun with that. Ready? Strike. Someone's mentioned the red man, so we'll see how that goes. With the red man, you're going to be demonstrating proper baton strikes. You're pretty much getting in the ring with a, a six foot guy wearing red padding. And what you're going to do is pretty much fight your way through. I'm definitely nervous um, because I really just have the utmost respect for what these people do day in and day out. And, you know, as a cadet, I can't pretend to have had that experience. So I know it's going to be really inspiring, but I'll try to keep up with them. Just remember everything you were taught, chambering your baton. So what is he gonna do? Essentially, he's gonna basically try to he's gonna try to eliminate you, uh, or like let, let's say you're. <laughs> oh, let's say you're just okay. that. Oh! Let's go, Rachel. Let's go. Let's go. The one advice I would give Rachel Heck would be to just always keep your guard up. You never know which kind of swings you would get, if they would hit you in the head, how hard. It's always giving that person that extra step, that extra motivation to keep going. Red man turned up. Come here, come here. Get back! Come on, there you go. The reason why I decided to join Air Force ROTC is just because just that discipline, um, that teamwork, golf is such an individual sport, so it was really alluring to me to be part of a team, to be part of something bigger than myself, and to give back. Yeah. Push him down, push him down. There you go, there you go. Push him down, push him back, push him back. Yeah! yeah. Rachel did awesome today. I was really impressed with her ability to listen and learn. Um, she was attentive the entire time. I think she did amazing. I was like her little psychic, just like, go Rachel, go! <laughs> There's absolutely connecting themes between uh, the Air Force and collegiate golf, or really just being on a team in general. Let's go! Kind of realized that, you know, this isn't about me anymore. This is about something so much bigger than myself, and we're not going to succeed if an individual succeeds. If you do well and you're not lifting up your team, then you all fail, you know, and that's a lesson that I've, I've really learned and brought to the course with, me with my team. Awesome job, ladies. Rachel should be a part of our squad. Welcome to the Security Forces. The Air National Guard and the Reserve provide such a special opportunity to serve while pursuing what you love. So for me, I'll get to serve in the Reserves while pursuing my dreams of playing professional golf. It's really special. Thanks everyone for hanging out with me on this episode of I Could Do That, presented by the United States Air Force. Got a great workout in, had a great time, so thanks everyone. Aim high. <laughs>